Hello guys, back again. Uh, I know I ain't been around for about a month. Uh, I've been trying to get this bloody boat finished. Uh, as you can see, all the floor's done now. Move the stove round. I'm just going to turn that a little bit like, round like that, so it faces that way. Um, I'll put me, me beads up, me old hippy beads. Um, all the painting's finished. Like I say, the floor's down, that cabinet's in place now. Do you remember that white cupboard? Um, no matter what I did, I just couldn't get the finish I wanted on it. So I'm using this stuff called Fabulon. It's just like a stick-on plastic veneer. Um, if I'd have known about this before, I would have bloody used it maybe in a lot more places, saving so much time. But as you can see, you know, like on these doors, you know, I'm getting things like that, you know, and, and they're just marking all the time to drive me mad. So that's what it looks like now, which I think looks quite good. I'm going to do a bit on this, on this edge here. Uh, I might do the top as well. Uh, in the kitchen, let's move this towel. In the kitchen, uh, looks like that now. The sink's all in, all the water's working. Everything's done in there now. Uh, that's them four drawers. Remember them four drawers in the in the old kitchen, which looked quite crap. Done that. I've put a bit of that same stuff on the front of the fridge, which looks quite pucker. Uh, looks a much, much, much better. Um, what else have I done? Oh, up here at the back, I've put this. This gear here Dan, so I've just got my generator, a drop of petrol, drop of fresh water if I need it, um, some charcoal, uh, I've put this rubbery, this this stuff's like rubber, it's like a big thick rubber mat, I think they call it grass mat, um, 16 quid, can't go wrong, um, so my cooker looks like that now, down in this little bit here, if you can see in there, I don't know if you can still see the bit of paint in there, I've got one more row of tiles I'm going to put in there, but yeah, that's what she looks like now. Um, all I've got left really in here to do is I've got, um, like I'm going to get a swivel recliner, a small one, um, put that down somewhere where the battery's going, somewhere over that side, um, and then just a little table, maybe a little coffee table and a rug in the middle. Um, I've still got the kitchen, this little bit of kitchen floor to do here. I still can't make my mind up whether to do it in tiles. Um, I've cut this floor off square here as you can see by my foot um, so I can put a floor joiner in that so whatever I do this half in because this is going to get all the wear um, if this needs to be changed you know for any reason it ain't going to affect this floor here because I can take this this threshold joiner up and just replace that bit makes sense to me uh, bathroom looks the same um, I ain't really done anything in there, which I'm not really worried about the bathroom. It's nothing. I can do that when I'm cruising around. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like now. You know, I'm well pleased with it. It looks lovely. Uh, I keep getting silly offers off of people. I had a guy up here last week, saw me boat from the road. Again, is he a romancer? I don't know. Uh, he come down and said, do you want if I have a look in your boat, mate? And I said, why? Why would you want to look in my boat? And he said, well, from the road, he said, it looks so pucker. He said, you know, and I'm looking for a boat for my daughter. He said, I just wondered if he was willing to sell it. And I said, well, no, not really. I've just spent seven months doing it up. You know, there's no way I'm going to sell it without getting any use out of it, that's for sure. So, anyway, he offered me 32 grand for it, believe it or not. Again, whether he's a bullshitter, I don't know. I ain't got a clue what it's worth. Um... I know compared to what I paid for it off of um, Ray and Annie, uh, I know they sold it to me cheap, that's for sure. Otherwise, there's no way I'd be able to do this. There's just no way I would never have had the money. But, you know, I put an offer out to Annie and Ray, you know, in the future, if Ray gets any better, because he's got a bit of an art condition. If, he ever, if he's ever up to feeling like he wants to go on a boat again, uh, he knows and Annie knows that, you know, if they want to take the boat out for a weekend or a week, all they've got to do is ring me and it's sorted, no problem, mate. You know that. Um, apart from that, there's not really a lot more I can show you. Um, apart from it's bloody nearly finished at last. Uh, I've 
I've just got a couple of bits of pictures. I've got a few nice pictures here. I'm a bit in, I'm into a bit of the old um, Celtic look and Celtic art and you know that type of stuff. So I've got this one here, which is going on the wall. That's one. That's going to go. Oh, that's going to go. It's going to go up here like that in between the windows. Looks should look quite nice. And the other one is that one, which again, the colours are so bright. I don't know if the if the camera's picking them up, but anyone who knows anything about Celtic symbolism, if you look in them corners there, I ain't got to tell you what that means. Uh, don't take no notice of that that pentagram in the middle because it's nothing to do with devil worship. That's going up there like that. Should look quite nice. And the last one is, which is going to look a bit strange to most people, but it's that one, which I know what people are thinking. Is it satanic? No, it's not satanic. It's just a woman with a dragon. That's it. That's going up there like that. That should look quite nice on there. I love the colours. So there are my three pictures. They're all the pictures that are going up. No more than that. Um, like I say, I've got this door to do next with this brown stuff, which I'm going to do now. Uh, this little line in between, this bit here, I'll do a bit of brown through there and a bit of brown where that little line is there going down. So when you open the door, that white bit around the side there. It's going to be brown. Uh, I've had to buy a new leisure battery. I don't know if I mentioned it because uh, it weren't holding its charge, so I've stuck that on. I've got my big battery down there, that one that I've always had. Uh, I've linked that into the leisure battery side on the other end, just like when I'm up here in the evening, and that just gives me lights. Um, and I can stick the inverter on it, and I can run my laptop and that, or I can use the generator, it ain't a problem. Um, just all I'm going to use is I'm going to get two more, two more leisure batteries, which are going to go under the bed box on a, a 2000 watt um, inverter. I'm not going to need an inverter that size, nowhere near. Uh, I've also got, uh, I think it's a 600 watt inverter as well. I might just use the 600 watt and flog the 2000. I think it's a 3000 watt inverter actually. That big battery there, I'm going to dedicate that to my fridge 12 volt only. So that will run my fridge forever. Um, managed to get the fridge working. Everything's, everything works now. I've got all my hot water, cold water. Uh, I've, got, I've drilled through the boat and put my outlet on so that I've got, you know, there's my sink. You know, just turn that on. I've got, I've got water now, which is brilliant. But, you know, I'm happy. Oh well. Got to turn the water on. That's just pumped out. That's just pumped out. What was in the? That's just pumped out. What was in the um? In the pipe. I've got to have an airlock now. Shouldn't have done that. Not to worry. I'll pull that back through. That ain't a problem. But yeah, everything works fine. Um, been doing a little bit of fishing up here. Lucky I got away with it. It's not an airlock. Yeah, I've been doing a bit of fishing up here. I've been catching some nice roach, um, nice roach and bream. Um, Phil owns the, uh, owns the blue boat the next to me, if you remember seeing the blue one. Uh, he's been really helpful. He's been helping me out quite a lot. He's lent me his petrol mower, his petrol strimmer, so I've done a bit of clearing up out the front. Um, I've got to show you. 